So this is going to be my formal review of the WRM. So firstly, I did try this cube on six different settings. But you have to understand the theory before you understand the results. Explain the spring compression theory in, the, in my GTS3 review video. But I think JPM did a better job explaining and I will link both the videos in the description. So a summary of this theory is that whenever you tighten the screw of any cube, you will increase the spring force and decrease the elasticity. But the GTS3 allows you to adjust the two factors independent of each other. So the first factor, spring force, follows the formula F equals to KX. So switching to a stronger spring will increase K, while changing the compression level will squash the spring further compared to its natural length, and that will affect X. So if you multiply these two numbers together, meaning K and X, then you get the spring force, and spring force will affect the speed of the cube. The second factor, elasticity, is a little bit harder to manipulate, and elasticity is what I base my experiment on. I changed the elasticity alone without changing the spring force by changing the compression level and backing out the screw by the same amount. So elasticity affects how much you can pull pieces apart and how much the cube corner cuts. So here are my results. Level 4 elasticity is the clear winner, but I've only tested two extremes as well as the midpoint. So that's 0, 4 and 8. And if you look at my screw now, it's actually slightly lower than the compression level. This is actually the setting that I prefer the most. So I'm going to recommend a level 3 elasticity. So you can achieve this by adjusting the spring compression to level 3 and then after that you adjust the screw such that it will become like completely flat compared to the rim of the compression system around it. When you tighten the screw, you will increase the spring force as well but not to worry, you can adjust it back later by simply changing the compression level but keeping the screw at level 3. You can also do more interesting things, for example, use a low compression level to have a fast cube during your practice. But in the middle of a competition, if you're having nerves and you want a more controllable cube, you can just change the compression and then you can make your cube slower, more controllable and feels a bit tighter, but yet it's equally stable and has the same corner cutting because you didn't change the elasticity. The general performance of the WRM is exactly what you would expect. It's a GTS3, meaning it's very smooth and fast, but it's slightly crispier than the GTS2 because it has a bit more straps. The WR is also a light magnetic GTS3, meaning the magnets are weaker than the original, so they do feel a bit more like the GTS2 as well. Of course, as the name suggests, WR without ridges, so in the end, you get a cube that's kind of a mix of the GTS2 and GTS3. So when you touch the cube, it feels more like a GTS2 to touch. It has the magnetic strength of the GTS2, and I've actually not tried the real GTS3 LM. But yeah, I've tried the GTS2 before, and I would say that the strength is quite comparable. But of course, it has the GTS3 mechanism inside, and it has the same stripes and same pattern. So it does have a, slight, a slightly faster turning than the GTS2, and a slight crispiness to the field, which is the GTS3 part of this entire WRM. So the GTS3 has been my favourite 3x3 ever made, and it is the only cube I can do a long average and hit a low 16. However, especially in competition settings, I do feel that I would rather use the original GTS3 M over the LM and WRM variants. And of course, I said it multiple times on my channel that I prefer 56 over 55, and the ridges do make the cube feel like 56. On top of that, comparing ridges to a flat 56, I would say that my grip with the ridges is actually still a bit more confident. As for the magnets, even though I don't like strong invasive clicks, I find that the GTS3 is actually a special case because the cube is just so fast. So the strong magnets, once again, they add more confidence, which is quite an important factor for competing. 